Hey guys, it's Austin here with Walkthrough Wednesday. We did a poll on Facebook and it was pretty close to a tie, so we're gonna show you both a Cougar and a Montana. So this is the Montana 3121RL, and we have the Cougar 27 SGX over here. So let's first start with our Cougar and work our way up to the uh, larger fifth wheel behind me. So you can see it does have a nice exterior here, um, large windows on this side. Uh, we have an awning that is going to be over here, it does have the lights underneath. We do have the outdoor speakers as well. More ride steps, which are easy to fold up into the coach there. We also have a really large pass-through storage. It does have the motion detective light in there. Key TV hookup, so you can put a key or a TV there. Key TV stands for, it, it kind of works uh, to the fact that you can watch different channels on different TVs throughout the coach. Um, but you can put a TV in here, it can swing out, and you can put it away when you are done. We also have um, propane tanks in here and a really nice front cap on this coach as well. So let's move our way onto the interior. So in the inside of this coach, I really like the kitchen because there's plenty of countertop space. It does have your slide out which comes in and they strategically place the refrigerator here so it does come to right about here and you can still access that when you are um, traveling and it's right here. So it makes it really nice. It does have the larger Furion stove and oven there. This does flip up to allow you to have an extra backsplash. Plenty of cabinetry in this unit as well. Fold out couch over here in the living space. Two recliners, two side tables on either side with electrical outlets so that way you can put lamps over there, charge your phones while you're sitting in these comfortable Thomas Paine edition recliners. Um, one of my favorite features about this coach is the freestanding dinette and the reason I like that is because it's easier to move and maneuver around and you do have really cool storage that's underneath there. Um, you do have to bolt those down when you're traveling, but that's no hassle there at all just because you get the uh, luxury of having a um, table in here. Uh, we do have the nice size TV that's going to be over here, and the reason I like that is because it is on an arm swing, and um, you can watch it while you're cooking, you can watch it while you're eating, and sitting in your living room with a fireplace down below. And moving up to the front of the coach, I, would, I do want to touch on the in-command system. It's going to be right here, and if you take a look at this, you can see you can have an app on your phone, um, and that's a really easy access. You just download that and control most of the unit on your phone, which is a really cool um, feature. Bathroom, I'll let you take a look at um, real quick. We do have the uh, nice size shower in there, some storage space. We do have the vanity over here as well with a medicine cabinet up above. Looking in here into the bedroom, we have double nightstands on either side, electrical outlets, there's storage all over this unit, especially over there in your wardrobe slide. So there's wardrobes behind three of those doors, and we also have storage down here. So now let's exit this unit and go take a look at the 3121 um, RL Montana. So starting on the exterior of this coach, we do have the 3121 here. You can see there's double awnings with LED light strips on either side. There's frameless windows out here on the front of the slides and is on the rest of the coach there. We have a large pass-through storage, um, propane tanks up there, and one thing I really like is it's the easy lift. So if you're uh, if you can't able to lift that whole thing in there, it can lift itself pretty much in there, and you can put it down pretty easily. So let's go take a look at the inside of this coach. So we are moving inside the 3121 um, RL Montana. You can see it does have really nice bright floors, plenty of windows to let lots of that natural light in to reflect off the floors. And another thing I want to point out over here is this really cool light up here. It does light up in there above and these two lights here so it gives you lots of light. Um, a really nice dining table as well. Two great chairs. There's two more chairs that come with this coach and those are going to be up in your closet in your bedroom. Stored away just for the moment but you can bring those out when you have more guests come along with you. Really large kitchen island, plenty of space on either side of your stove and oven over here. This is a self-lighting oven, so you can see it does have plenty of room in there, so there's no more sticking your hand back there and lighting that um, oven. It does have the residential size refrigerator, convection oven, microwave, plenty of storage, wine racks, um, plenty of uh, cabinetry and storage space over here. And we also have a really large pantry that goes back pretty far. Panning over to the uh, living room, it does have a ceiling fan up here. As you can see, um, there's two vents up here and that's the quiet cool system. So you don't have a really loud air conditioning unit going th throughout this coach. Uh, we also have um, theater seating, which is directly across from a really nice entertainment space with a fireplace down below. 
two speakers on either side of this last panel. This last panel does flip up and allow you to see that it does have the um, DVD player in there as well as a CD player and an FM and some more storage down there as well. Looking at our um, sofa back here, this does fold out into a bed. Um, there's two side tables on either side with electrical outlets. And another cool thing I want to point out before I forget, as I really like this in Montana because we do have the day shades. So the day shades do come down. That allows you to um, get some natural light still in here, but allows you to not get a glare on your TV if you're watching it back here, um, if the sun's bothering you and that. We also have the night shade, which comes down as well. So those are really cool. I really like those. They're a lot easier than the um, regular shades that you used to have in your coaches. Let's go take a look up at the front of this coach into the bedroom and bathroom. Before I forget, we also have your coat hangers here, keys in this unit as well. You can put on there in the key hooks. And this coach is also prepped for Wi-Fi. So that does come on off there. And you can put a Wi-Fi router if you purchase that from Fury on, on, the, on their website. Moving on into your bathroom, there is a residential style bath in there, or the shower in there with a shower seat, a porcelain toilet, storage on the left side of your shower. Uh, there's also a skylight in here. And another thing I really like is all the countertop space you have over here with your mirror. Some more storage on this side as well. And moving into your bedroom, we already know that you're limited to space and campers, so Montana has really thought of everything and put in a laundry basket already on over here so that is a really great um, space saver there there's also shoe racks in here there's another electrical outlet so if you need to charge your devices in there even you can do so there's a rack in there as well where you can hang some clothes and of course it does have the mirrored doors with the woodwork around them that looks really nice panning over to the bed over here we have the nice leather headboard over there two uh, side tables on either side nightstands with electrical outlets to charge your devices they also have the day shades that i talked about previously up here as well um, you can control your second ac system in this coach uh, and behind the store here is the two chairs i also talked about previously that goes by your dinette um, this shelving can come out and allow you to hang clothes it can also come out and allow you to put your washer and dryer in there too dresser down below over here and we do have the tv which is in case up above again the day shades and night shades and if you want to pan behind you and show you the uh, barn door that gives you some privacy it is really nice 